Hey there Star Seekers, Luke here, and I just thought I'd bring a quick announcement to all of you who aren't aware of a rather decent eShop sale that's currently going on. Cubic Games are currently celebrating their 17th anniversary, and you can grab a ton of the games for cheap between now and the 17th of March. Now this does require you to own any of these 4 titles, however Colouring Book is actually free. I know some people have been having issues with this sale for some reason or other, and as you can see I'm here on the eShop, and I actually own Robonauts, but for some reason the sale prices aren't showing for me. Now I went ahead and grabbed Colouring Book, which most people probably haven't actually picked up yet, and after doing this, all the sale prices then appeared for me, so this might fix the issues for those having them. Now there are a bunch of great games included in this sale, and I'm not going to be going through all of them in this short video, but I'll briefly touch on the ones that I've played and covered on the channel, and I'll leave links to the videos containing these reviews in the description box below. So first up we have Akane. It's a fast paced arcade high score chaser, where armed with your katana and pistol, you have to fight waves of enemies in an arena like setting. Now I had a great time playing this one and there are plenty of things to unlock as you work towards beating each of the game's brutal bosses, but be warned this is one tough cookie of a game, so if you feel like you're up for a challenge I highly recommend picking up a carne. Next up we have Wrecked, which is another arcade high score chaser whose gameplay is like a cross between Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and Rocket League. In Wrecked, you and up to 4 players get to race, spin, flip and grind your way around several different skate park style arenas, trying to earn as many points as you can in the allotted time frame. Now Wrecked can be a lot of fun, but there's a bit of grinding to unlock all the different stuff, and though I didn't quite think it was worth the full asking price, it's definitely worth grabbing in this sale. The third game I want to talk about is Mana Spark. It's a roguelike skill based dungeon crawler with some great pixel visuals. Now each run in Mana Sparks is you playing as one of several unique characters, each with their own skills, and you have to work your way through procedurally generated levels, gaining artifacts and beating bosses. As you defeat enemies, you also learn the weaknesses making them easier to fight in subsequent runs, and you also encounter various NPCs who then populate your camp, providing you with upgrades and other services. Now, Mana Spark is one that a lot of people loved, but I wasn't quite struck on, but it's a well made game and well worth picking up. Moving on next to a game called Gravity Rider Zero, we have a physics based on rails racer which has gameplay similar to the Trials series of games. Now this one was ported from mobile, so it does have a huge amount of in-app purchases and game features left over from this, though these no longer require real cash to buy and you've just got to grind it out for them. As with the Trials games in Gravity Rider Zero, you're going to be racing around different tracks, avoiding various traps, performing stunts and rotating your bike to avoid crashes. Overall I found gameplay rather simple and not very challenging, but its 33 tracks do offer a decent amount of content, and if you're looking for a more casual Trials like game then Gravity Rider Zero might be worth checking out. Up next we have Hyper Parasite, a roguelike game with a rather unique premise. In Hyper Parasite you play as this parasitic blob, and you basically possess and take control of the enemies that you encounter, with each enemy providing a different set of skills and abilities. I was pretty impressed with Hyper Parasite when I played it and I thought it had some very unique gameplay mechanics, but it was a little difficult and there were some issues when it came to progressing through the game. If you're looking for a roguelike with a bit of a difference, Hyper Parasite is well worth giving a go. Sticking with the roguelikes, because last year I seemed to play an awful lot of them, the next game I want to highlight is called Dungeon Top. It's a deck building roguelike with some pretty deep gameplay mechanics, and in my mind it's somewhat of a hidden gem. The game sees you playing as one of three classes, each having several different decks which offer unique styles of play, and you basically work through dungeons battling against monsters by placing cards onto a grid like play area. You then move your cards around the play area attacking monsters and killing them to gain XP and gold, which can then be spent to unlock new cards for your decks for future runs. In all it's a great little title that's definitely worth a look. The final game I'm going to cover in this list is going to be Death's Hangover. It's a breakout style blockbusting game where you make your way through a dungeon, battling against monsters whilst breaking blocks to progress through each screen. 
Now there are several different routes through the game offering a decent amount of replayability and while it's quite challenging at times, unlike most breakout games, Dev's Hangover can actually be played with two players which does make things much easier. Now I have to admit that I did rate this game a bit too harshly due to a few questionable gameplay mechanics. But if like me you enjoy breakout style games, then I recommend giving Death's Hangover a go. So that about does it for the games that I've had experience with, but there are several other games in the sale that I've heard good things about. Blazing Beaks for one is supposed to be a lot of fun. The Bit Trip series of games have some great music and unique rage inducing gameplay mechanics. And Door Kickers is also supposed to be an interesting real time strategy game where you command a SWAT team through tactical scenarios. Overall I'd say that the Cubic Games Anniversary Sale has a decent selection of games on offer and I recommend heading to the eShop or website and checking out the full list as you'll likely find at least a couple of games worth your time and money. So that's about it for this video and hopefully it helped you out. Make sure to check out the reviews link below if you want to hear more about the games that I've mentioned and if you haven't already then subscribe to the channel as I upload new Nintendo Switch game reviews every few days. For now though I just want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time take care of yourselves and game on.